Okay, so welcome to Math Story, yeah? and let's have this topic. Solving for this compound interest by completing this table, and to solve for this row, and for this nominal rate. So using this formula for the compound interest, so we have M. So M is the frequency of conversion from this interest compounded semi-annually. So therefore, M is equal to 2. Then for this N, so N is the number of conversion. So to solve for N, that's M times the time. Since M is equal to 2 and the time is equal to 2, so 2 times 2, so N is equal to 4. Then for this compound amount, that's F. And for this uh, principal, that's P. So to solve now for this nominal rate, so we have M, M is 2 times this N root. So since N is equal to 4, so we have this the fourth root of this compound amount. That's 2,800 then over the principal. That's 2,000 then minus 1. So to solve now for this nominal rate, so using calculator, so we have this the fourth root, then open parenthesis, so 2,800, then divide by this 2,000, close parenthesis, equals, then minus 1, equals, then times 2, equals, so we have this 0 0.1755 and to convert this one to percent, so we need to multiply this number by 100, so times 100, so we have 17.55 percent. So therefore, the nominal rate is 17.55 percent. Then to solve for this interest rate per period, so that's J. So formula for J, that's R over M, or the nominal rate, divided by this frequency of conversion. So to solve for J, so we have R, since R is 17.55, so 17.55 divided by M, so M is 2. So divide by 2 equals, that's 8.78. So this interest rate per period is 8.78%. Then to solve for this compound interest, so that's I equals this compound amount minus the principal. So we have this compound amount, that's 2,800 minus the principal, that's 2,000, equals, so therefore the compound interest is 800. So this one is 800. Then for this row and for this nominal rate, so the same formula, so we have M, so M is the frequency of conversion, since interest compounded quarterly, so therefore M is equal to 4. Then to solve for N, so N is M times the time. Since the time is 5 years and 3 months, so we need to convert this 3 months to a year. So just divide this 3 by 12. So divide this 3 by 12, so 3 divided by 12 equals so 0 0.25 then plus 5 years so plus 5 so the time is 5.25 then times this frequency of conversion so times 4 that's 21 so n is equal to 21 so to solve now for this nominal rate so we have m m is 4 then times the n root since n is 21, so 21st root of f 
since f is unknown so to solve for this uh, compound amount so compound amount is equal to the principal plus the interest so we have this the principal is 4000 plus the interest that's 600 equal so therefore the compound amount that's 4600 so this one is 4600 so to solve now for this nominal rate so we have this 4600 over the principal that's 4000 then minus 1 so to solve now for this nominal rate so using calculator so we have now this the 21st root or 21st root then open parenthesis this 4600 then divide by this 4000 close parenthesis equals then minus 1 equals then times this 4 so times 4 equals then to uh, convert this one to percent so we need to multiply this number by 100 so times 100 so therefore the nominal rate is 2.67 percent so the nominal rate is 2.67 percent then to solve for this interest rate per period that's j so j is equal to r over m so to solve for j so we have r is 2.67 then divide by m m is 4 so divide by 4 so equal so j is equal to 0 0.67 percent so j is 0 0.67 percent then to solve for this row so to solve for m so this frequency of conversion since we have this interest compounded monthly so therefore m is equal to 12 then to solve for this interest rate per period that's j so j is equal to r over m so to solve now for j so r is equal to 14 percent so we have 14 divide by m m is 12 so 14 divide by 12 equals that's 1.17 so j is equal to 1.17 percent then to solve for the time in years so using this formula so i derived this formula from the formula of e compound interest so to solve now for the time so we have ln of this compound amount that's 14,425 so 14,425 then minus ln of this principal so that's 12,000 then over this m so m is 12 times ln then 1 plus j so this 1.17 percent convert to decimal that's 0 0.0117 so we have 0 0.0117 then to solve now for the time so we have ln of this 14,425 so 14,425 minus ln of 12,000 so ln of this 12,000 then equals that's 0 0.1841 so 0 0.18 then 41 then over this 12 times ln1 plus 0 0.0117 so we have 12 times ln so just combine these two numbers 1.0117 then equals so that's 13.96 so we have 0 0.13 
then 96. Then to find now the time, so this 0 0.1841 divide by this 0 0.1396 equals, so the time is 1.32. So the time is 1.32. Then for this number of conversion, so does M times the time. So we have M, M is 12 times the time, time is 1.32 equals, so N is 15.84. So this number of conversion is 15.84. Then for this compound interest, so I is equal to the compound amount minus the principal. So to solve now for this compound interest, so we have this the compound amount, that's 14,425 minus this principal, that's 12,000 equals so the compound interest is 2425 so this compound interest is 2425 so this is how to solve for this compound interest